what if I had a situation, and this is talking about overriding now. Overloading, we have multiple signatures. But what if we have a situation that any time I call eat here, that I don't necessarily want to call the one an animal, that the cat has something unique about it. And every time I call cat without any parameters, without any arguments, I actually want to run this one and run this code right here. Well, then I can override. Now, that lets me inherit all the way down through all my classes and then only override the ones that I don't want to use that underlying code in my in my base class. And I hope that makes sense. But that's overloading and overriding. Now, this gives you a lot of power uh, when you combine this with inheritance. Now, those three are fundamental to .NET, and it's the three biggest differences that uh, old VBers and old ASP uh, folks, scripters, are going to see. There are some other things in .NET. First of all, constructors. We now have a subroutine called new, N-E-W. And any time an object is created, we can put code in public sub new. And as the object is being created, it picks up whatever we've coded in there. So we can set values of properties. Uh, we can do all kinds of things to our objects as they're created. And we can actually pass arguments to our objects as we create them. Threading. Uh, VBers have been begging for this for years, and now we've got it in VB and in uh, ASP.NET. That's the ability to run multiple processes on different threads. The best example of this is the spell checker in Word. You're typing a document, and in the background, this thing is checking the spelling on your words. You can build that stuff into your web applications now. Pretty cool. But it's beyond this course. We're not going to get into that here. The common type system, we have two main types, values and references. That's a whole other subject, but just know that a lot of the type problems that have been experienced with other languages are gone. I'll just refer you out to documentation to take a look at that. And so with that, I'll stop here with the main features of .NET. Inheritance, overloading, and overriding are the three main things that you're going to need to work into your code. Now, if you've been in a VB or an ASP world, you don't think this way, and it's going to be a little bit of a leap. But I promise you, once you get your hands around it, you will not go back to the other way. This will save you a lot of code, and you'll have to start thinking this way. But again, this is kind of a 30,000-foot view of these features, but understand what these are. You're going to read a lot about them in the documentation, and hopefully now you understand what you're looking at.